It's a quick one over the middle, oh. and it's complete. And it looks like it's going to be a first down. Little dump pass there, Tom. Uh, Matt Schofield on the tackle. Schofield. Tommy Akinpora. Pass by number eight, Ken Munch. Pitch back. They try to right side to Guilford. Oh. And a hard hit by Joe Felice. That's Finally brought by by Harry Park. Stopped by Joe Felice. Pick up of about three on the play. Makes it second down and seven for the Tigers. Again, Coach Vanicello continues to shuffle his players, giving those that play on offense as well uh, adequate time to catch a breather on this cold night. It's starting to get really raw now, Tom. I don't know if the fans can hear the wind, but I certainly can feel it at this point. There's another play up the middle. Hard hit, good cover. Tim Metz, the ball carrier. It's like we're going to have third and uh, four or five. Good for about a, a yard and a half. Joe Felice has done an awful lot in the middle of the line tonight, Dick. Uh, of course, he has uh, about five uh, good supporting characters out there. Nobody can do it alone, but uh, Joe Felice has certainly been a factor here tonight. I mean, he's gotten stronger as the season has gone on, Tom. It's a sweep to the outside. Number 81, yeah. Stephen Schultz, the last defender, and he takes him down. Yeah, down around the 35-yard uh, line of Guilford. I saw a clip there, Dick, but I don't see a flag. <laughs> Gary Raymond out, Tommy Akampora in. It's going to be first and 10 for Guilford. Uh, I'm sorry, for Madison on uh, Guilford's 35-yard line. Uh, three minutes and 55 seconds and counting. Uh, hand obviously trying to uh, punch it in. They try a sweep. Hit oh, hard by no Harry game. Potter and dump. It's going to be a loss of a yard on that, Tom. Harry Potter for no game. Good penetration by Harry. Looks like Coach Vanessa shot a linebacker. Now Harry's picking up where he left off last game, Tom. Sure is. If we got second and 11, Tom, on the 36-yard line at Guilford. Second and 11. Back to pass. Pass. Almost intercepted. Nice right now by 30. Stephen Fox. Nice play by Stephen. Dick, you can't say what if, but if he had grabbed that one, it would have been 6 nothing Guilford. Sayonara, Tom. He got that one. He would have been right up the sideline. Nobody between him and the goal line. On the 35. With an incompleted pass, clock stopped, three minutes, 11 seconds. Hand sets to put the ball in play. Quarterback takes the ball. Hands off to number 20, up the middle. He's hit hard by Tommy Akampour on the entire right Can't side of the, the that was a hold. line. That was a hole, Tom, that uh, closed quickly. Very quickly. Good adjustment. Going to be fourth down and uh, looks like about fourth seven. Fourth down and about six for the Tigers on the 32. Fourth and seven for Madison. Yeah, puts the ball in play, fades back to pass. He wants to pass. Okay. He's keeping it. He's got the first down. Joe Schultz brings him down. Looks like he got out of bounds, Dick, and stopped, was able to stop the clock. Two That's minutes it. and 29 seconds. Uh, Madison's got the ball. First and 10 on the uh, Guilford 15. Hand puts the ball in play. They pitch right. Dennis Cole and Tommy Akampora on the stop. Steven Schultz in there, too, Tom. Yep. Jeff Lee's in on the tackle. That was good for about six yards. There he is. second. And about four on the Indians' nine-yard line. Well, we'll see if Guilford can once again reach back and, and toughen up with their backs to the wall again. Two men come split to the right. Stephen Fox, Dennis Cole out to cover them. They pitch back the other way. Small game, Tom, and maybe a yard. Mickey Stamborski, Joe Schultz, and Harry Potter in on a stop. Timeout, Madison. 
Tom on the uh, on the Guilford uh, nine yard line. Minute 46 seconds. Pitch back, trying the right side. He's hit and hit hard. He's gonna, he's not. He didn't make the first down, Tom. It's gonna be fourth down. About a two yard gain. Stopped by number 41, Akapora. Nice tackle by Tommy Akampora, and this is it, Tom. Uh, they're knocking on the door, and they got one more down to try and punch it in. Well, Dick, uh, unfortunately, they can also make a first down, too. Uh, with the clock running, uh, Guilford is kind of uh, faced with kind of a conflict. Uh, you can't watch the first down too close. They'll score a touchdown, vice versa. It'll be interesting to see what happens here. They pitch right. Number 20. It's going to be close, Tom. It is going to be close. It is going to be very, very close. No, it's a first down, Tom. It's a first, first down. down. That's Madison first and goal Timeout on the Guilford four. Timeout for the Hand Tigers. And seven seconds left to go. We've got first and goal, Tom, on the uh, on the four-yard line of uh, of Guilford for Madison. Pitch to number 20. There's an arm tackle in there. Second down to about the two-yard line. Left on him. Circulation on the tackle. Tom Akampora. Second and goal and about the less than a foot. Less than a yard to go. We've got 50 seconds left, Tom. 49. This would be a big lift to the hand team if they could punch it in. Second and goal. Gilford's tightening up. Defensive backs are up tight. It's a pitch. He's in. Touchdown, Madison. Six nothing, Madison. Six Thirty-five nothing seconds Madison. left to go. I'll have. To That was, a, that was a, uh, a long drive time by Madison. It was long, it was very simple. Uh, one pass, really. Uh, the other pass, Stephen Fox batted down. Uh, it looks like Madison's going to try for the single point yeah, conversion. Susan is going to try the extra point. Ken Munson's the holder. Off to the left. Left and no good. Very good. No good. 6 nothing, Madison. We got 35 seconds left, Tom. Kicking off the Madison, Tom. We got 35 seconds left in the uh, first half. Be interesting to see if they squib it, how they line drive it. Taken Akapura. by Tommy Akampura on the 30. He cuts outside, runs right over. Two tacklers. Good run back by Tommy Akampura. Stopped by number Brings it up to 43. Again, hand seems a little pumped up after the touchdown. Uh, 26 seconds and counting on the clock. Uh, be interesting to see what call Coach Fonticello comes up with, whether he goes for it or uh, decides to minimize his losses and uh, go to the uh, locker room down only six minutes. He pitches to Stephen Fox. Stephen Fox puts his head down. For no gain. That's going to be the end of the first half, Tom, and the score. Madison six, Guilford nothing. 82. Beginning of the second half, the score is uh, Madison, six, and Guilford, nothing. Well, Tom, uh, six nothing to score. You know, um, as you said previously, uh, the wind is strong. It's a little bit cold down there. Both defenses did a good job in the first half. Uh, uh, Guilford a couple of times uh, down deep, and Madison uh, once down deep. Guilford will be kicking off to Madison. Be kicking with the wind. Uh, Guilford moving uh, right to left on your screen. Madison left to right. Stephen Fox going to kick off for the Indians. Fox fairly deep key. It's brought back. Peter Hartman. He's hit and dumped. Fox. Peter Fox and Rich L. B. covered him. Joe Chu. 
Here we go, Tom. First and ten for uh, Madison on their own 29-yard uh, line. This is first and ten. First play of the second period. This is going to come on a stand from formation. Flanker to each side of the field. Guilford shows blitz. Brought down by Steve Schultz. Steve Schultz in on the tackle. Fine tackle. That's about an eight-yard gain for the big base. I'm sorry, about a six. The wind picked up, Tom. I lost my uh, protection on the microphone. Right over the roof. Uh, it's down below. Down below. But these gale force winds, it's <laughs> snow to optic. Again, plant. Hand brings the team out of the huddle. Got an eye backfield. Two flankers to the right side. Quarterback takes the ball. Gives off tackle. Number 20 oh, fumbles oh. the ball. Uh, looks like Madison looks recovered. Looks like Madison recovered it, Dick. Ten booms are in on the tackle. Ron Blomps just seemed to knock the ball loose, uh, and Guilford just couldn't come up with the ball. That would have been a big play for him. Uh, hey, got to win. Not only that, was good for first down, Dick. Yeah. Those are the breaks you want to get, Tom. Those are the breaks you have to get to win a game like Absolutely. this, Absolutely. Again, there's a pitch going to the outside. Stephen Fox plays off a block, and Good Harry Potter unloads on number 20. Good pursuit and a good hard tackle by Potter, Tom. Lost a three. We got second down and 12 yards to go on the uh, 30, 39 yard line, Tom. It's a pitch off the right side, and again, hit and hit hard. It looks like it was Tommy Akampora. Good hit. Akampora in on the tackle. Looks like we're gonna have third and 11, Tom. Third and 10 or 11 for Madison. Again, you can see how cold it is out there. The players trying to keep their hands warm in between plays. Trying to keep the hands covered by as much uniforms. Fades back to pass. It's a good rush. He throws one out. That was a good, tip, Tom. Good defensive play, play by Nat Schofield. However, the hand player almost got it on the tip. The fourth down now, Tom. That's fourth down. A little over 10 to go, Dick. Yeah, the hand's going to punt. Back deep, we have... Uh, Number 24, Gary Raymond, Stephen Fox in the middle, and uh, Dennis Cole on the left side deep. Hand will be kicking against the wind. Indians with not much of a rush. It's kicked to the center of the field. Tommy Akafahor to short man catches it in the air. And the ball will be turned over to the Indians. First and 10, 45-yard line. Rich Elfie into the game, a flanker, bringing the play to the quarterback. Clock's still running, uh, seven minutes and 21 seconds, and uh, I think it may be my imagination or old age, but I think the wind is picking up up here. Uh, I think I may have heard some thunder in the background. I think that was uh, our cameraman, Ronnie Acapora, growling. <laughs> Cole brings the team up, takes... Fades back to pass. He's got Schultz out there. He's got Harry Potter. Harry Potter's got Complete. it. Complete. There's a flag down on the play, Tom. Flag down on the play. Number 42, Potter. Let's see what the call is going to be, Tom. See, flag on the play. See what the call is going to be. I think it's against Madison, Tom. It looks like it. it looks like it's against Madison. Catch Offensive inter Fine catch by Harry Potter. He juggled it, but uh, hung on to it, which is kind of in Harry's trademark this year, and uh, went out on the uh, hand 47-yard line, where it'll be first and 10 for the Indians. Dennis did a fine job, Tom, of throwing that ball to the sideline and keeping it to the uh, to the far side of the sideline where uh, Harry could uh, make the catch out of the reach of the defender. It looks like the... Uh, the Indians have taken a penalty. It got them a couple of more yards. Rich Elfie out to the left. Cole brings the team up. First and 10 from the 40. Cool to the center. 
Quick hitter. Nothing there. Hand no, all over. Nothing there. Nothing there. Going to be second and ten on the 40-yard line of Madison. Okay, stopped by Chris Blue. LP out. Matt Schofield in. Chris Cooley leads the team out of the huddle. Tommy Acapora, Harry Potter, and Stephen Fox, the tailback. Stephen Fox through the Chris center. Bray Blake's tackles look, paused a moment to look, pick up a little more blocking and was hit immediately. Then about four By yards number on 20, that the hand safety. That, that was good for about five. It's uh, third and a long five. Chris flying in. Schultz out. Third and five. Cole takes the ball, runs an option, turns it upfield. Cuts, goes. First down. And it looks like he's gone for the first down. Good for about six. Double corner out there. Top by Mark Schultz. Gilford's down around the 29-yard uh, line of Madison, Tom. Knocking on the door, and Dick, quite frankly, this is the first sustained drive that we've had this evening. Absolutely. We've got uh, Akampora and Fox, the running backs now. Harry Potter up in the wing back slot. Madison up tight, pitch to Stephen Fox. He cuts it upfield, one flying block. Got about five yards on that, Tom. Fox the ball carrier. Fine block by Mickey Akampora. Beg your pardon, Mickey Stemborski. Tom, somebody's shooting through that line uh, real early there. They're just, they're almost getting to, to Dennis before he uh, he hands off on the ball. Can you see who it is? It seems to be 69, but unfortunately there are two 69s out there, and uh, they may well be timing the count, Dick. Uh, Coach Fonticello will normally adjust for that and have him go on a second count. Uh, that's a quick five yards normally if you can pick that up. 77 to 75. Uh, the tackle and defensive end from Madison have been very, very aggressive on the right side of the Madison line. Again, Tommy Akinpora just took advantage of that aggression to this as they penetrated. He ran right by them and uh, gained him about four yards. It's like going to be third and three, Tom? Third and, third and two. Third and a long two. Rich Elby comes back on the play, and that's go filled out. Bring Elfie out to the left side. Potter, Akampura, Fox, the setbacks, Chris Cooley to center, Cole, the quarterback. Takes the ball, gives to Stephen Fox, puts his head down. Good for about two. It looks like they're gonna come up a little bit short. Good for maybe a yard. Fourth down at about one yard from the Indians. Fourth and a short one. And that's Cofield bringing a play in off the bench. We got uh, three minutes and 43 seconds left to go, Tom. I the think, third period. I think Guilford wants to uh, also punch it in while they have the win. Uh, give an advantage on the kickoff. Again, keep in mind, Dick, that missed extra point by hand. Couldn't loom pretty big. Cole talks to his setbacks, sets the team, takes it, gives it to Tommy Akapura. He's hit and hit hard. It's going to be close. For no uh, I don't know how they're going to spot that, Tom. Uh, right foot, left foot. Uh, I don't want to don't, don't say that. There'll be an official's timeout. They'll have a measurement here, but it doesn't, a on this one. doesn't look like the Indians made it. Looks they're measuring. It's going to be, be short, Tom. Madison's going to take over on downs. Short by about five inches. Well, this will be a good test of the character of the Guilford team. Uh, it'll be very easy to roll over and quit right here, but uh, quite frankly, Dick, uh, the number of games I've seen him in, I just don't see that happening. I think there's an awful lot of football left in both teams. He and very quick out of the huddle. Give up the middle for no gain at all. Nick Pawson taking hold of him here, Tom. Hold him deep. Because uh, as you said, uh, if uh, he does have to punt, he'll be punting into the wind. After third down, uh, can, if the clock keeps running, watch for Guilford to call a timeout so they have to punt into the wind. 
Mike Salito on a real nice hit on that play. Two minutes and 40 seconds and counting. And brings the team out, second and 10. Flankers both sides of the field. Quarterback pitches up. He's hit. Hit hard. Short game. Good for about three. Good for about two yards. This will be, th be third and seven. This would be normally a passing down. Uh, and again, with this wind and temperature, uh, I don't know how much that's going to happen. Both teams playing real tough in the trenches at this point. Tom, go for uh, Matt, excuse me, Madison's almost going to have to make a first down here. Or they, they, they will have to punt unless uh, they do make a bold move and should go for it on fourth down deep. Uh, I know one touchdown game, I don't see that happening. The Guilford's up tight. Fade back to pass. Complete. Complete. First down for Madison. Nice catch. Nice pass. Nice pass. Good for the first down for Scott Quimby. Quinby on a catch for Madison, but down and under. Looks like it was a missed assignment on the right side of Guilford secondary. Got the Tigers 35 yard line. It's gonna be first and 10 for uh, Madison on their own 35 yard line. We've got a minute and 40 seconds left to go in the third period. Madison ahead six to nothing. They pitch back, come out on the end. Schultz pursuit by them. Schultz. Fox hits him. Oh, uh, well, flag. I think it's going to be a late hit, Tom. Uh, late that's hit. A tough call. That's a, that's a tough call, Tom. Uh, it didn't look like a late hit to me, but. That's 15 yards. We're in sports and contact against the Indians. Tom, it looked like the Guilford uh, player was already. Uh, was already was already in the air. Uh, on the, uh, I think it was still close to call on a one touchdown game, but uh, I don't like to talk about hometown calls. This might be just what the Indians need to fire them up. Here comes a reverse. Nothing there, Tom. And there's nothing there. And Another that's a flag. gang tackle. Flag on the play. Jim flag on the play. Uh, it looks like it would either be a face mask or a defensive holding. Yeah, it is a face mask against uh, Guilford, Tom. Face mask penalty against the Indians. These two penalties have certainly hurt the Indians. Uh, 30 down, 30 yards on uh, just this drive has been. Uh, 15 yards. First and ten for the Tigers. We're now on the Indians' 40-yard line. Wind's picking up. The Indians going to catch a break. This is where they better catch it. Hand over the ball. Pitches inside and caught. No game, Indians. Great flicker of the ball here. Stop for no game. Got under a minute left to go, Tom, in the third period. Mike Salido. On Guilford, uh, they're not on Guilford's 40-yard line. It's going to be second and ten. Once again, you can't help noticing that Coach Fonicella uses all his players in an awful lot of clean uniforms here on the hand side of the field. Good point, Tom. Two men split to the right. Quarterback gives off number 20 in the center. He's hit and nailed. It's like he got two to three yards on that carry. Joe Police on the stop. Stop by number 52, Joe Police. Good for a yard gain. Third and eight for the Tigers. Third and eight. Eight seconds left and a half during the quarter. I'm counting. I don't know if they get the playoff. Hands waiting for the quarter to end, so they get the win. And that's the end of the third quarter. Score, Madison, six. That's go for nothing. Third, uh, <clears throat> third and seven, Tom, at the beginning of the fourth period. Third and seven for uh, for Madison on uh, on Guilford's 37-yard uh, line. Two men split to the left. Quarterback rolls. He wants to throw. Tom, he was almost sacked on that play by uh, Glenn Blomster. Joe Felice all over him. Brings up fourth down. Fourth down, and uh, Madison will be. I don't know if they're going to be going for it or they're going to punt, Tom. A lot of people feel that the best type of pass defense is a very strong rush, and uh, if that's true, Guilford certainly demonstrated at that time. Oh, 
Looks like Ian's gonna go for it. Tom, I think we got a little problem with the clock. They didn't start it on that last play. Here we go, it's starting now. What's he doing, guys? Got a little problem with the clock here, fans. Ken brings the team up. Nine minutes and 52 seconds. We're going for it, Tom, on fourth down. Fourth and seven. Back to pass. Oh, There's the home run ball, Tom. It's complete. And it's going to be a score for Madison. Got behind the defender. Took it right in. Well, Guilford has got a long, deep hole to dig themselves out of. No two ways about it. Our apologies for the score and the time, folks. As you recall, the original scorekeeper was on the field. We had to substitute. So bear with us. We're going to try. Hand lines up for the extra point. Guilford's going to have to suck it up and come back real strong here in the fourth period. On the sidelines uh, during the half, I couldn't help but notice the almost the entire Guilford varsity football team out watching their freshman teammates, along with head coach Don Bassey, coach DeLeeks, coach Al Terry, all out here to cheer on the freshmen. Uh, kind of gives you a nice picture of what the Guilford football program or family looks like. Absolutely, Tom. Good point. Tom, going back to that last drive by Madison, those uh, two penalties were really critical, those back-to-back 15-yarders. -back Absolutely, Dick. Uh, Starter for the uh, Guilford Indians, Tim Hartman, who scored a, a great touchdown last week. Looks like they're going to go for two. Quarterback fades back to pass. He's got a guy free. Incomplete. Incomplete. Tipped by Dennis Cole. Incomplete. Incomplete. Well, Guilford's going to have to do something, Tom, and do something quick here. They're going to have to open up, Dick. Uh, I think Coach Monticello will start going to the air a little more. Uh, I also think you'll see uh, some more of the uh, quarterback option uh, that we saw very briefly in the uh, third quarter. Uh, they got a score, they got a score quick. Uh, the entire Guilford team is called off the field by Coach Monticello. Well, Tom, we got 9.43 left, so there's there's time left on the clock. It's just up to the Guilford Indians now to uh, put together a, a good drive and then bang it home and then uh, let the defense take over from there. No, the game certainly is not a side. It's far from over. Uh, any two touchdowns with any kind of an extra point, uh, and it's a Guilford win. But, uh, again, on a night like tonight, to come down back two touchdowns in the fourth quarter and, uh, takes an awful lot of doing. But uh, we've seen this team doing an awful lot of nice things this season, and uh, maybe they can come back here. Hand makes a lot of shifts before they kick off. They kick one deep. It's really deep. Tommy Akinpura takes it on a run. Turns it back up the middle. Fine block by Nats Goldfield, but he's hit at about the 20 yard line. Looks like the 25, Tom. Yeah, you're right, Don. It's down around the 20-yard line. Oh, it looks like the 21. Guilford takes over. Hand obviously fired up, but there are two quick successes. Cole brings the team up to the line. Cooley to center. Setback, Zach and Pura, and Fox. Fox gets the ball. There's a fine block out there by Harry Potter. Fox sweeps the end. Good for about five yards. Guilford team hustles back to the huddle. Game of about five on the play. Make it second. Second and, and five for the Indians. Second and five. Schofield in, LP out. Swanicello shuffles his ends. It's interesting. The Madison team shuttles tackles. We shuttle ends. Cole brings the team up to the line. Looks. Looks like it might have been a bad snap there, Tom. Bad exchange between the center and the quarterback. Cole is hit Number 10, for, for no Cole. yard. Cole stopped by Cooper and Dobson. No gain on the play. Defense! 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 
Got a third and long five, Tom. Third and five for the Indians. Fox, Potter, Hackam Porter set Fox. Cole brings the team. Pitches to Fox. Fox Miss block out here on the right side. Blocker. And Blicker Blocker makes the tackle on Stephen Fox. That'll be fourth and five. Four, fourth and about four and a half. Seven minutes and 43 seconds. Fox drops back into punt formation. Maybe we we'll, might see a fake here, Tom. High nope. snap. Fox gets the ball away. It's a high, high kick. It touched him. I think that touched the Madison, touched the player, Madison player. I think Guilford should have fell on that ball, Tom. I think they should have. That hit number 20 uh, for Madison on the leg, Tom. It appeared uh, to. Guilford, it's difficult uh, to see up here. No, that's not the way they roll it. That ball was down by Matt Cooper, number two. Well, they downed it, Tom. The ref didn't see it. Uh, even the Madison coach was screaming at his players. It's got a fall on it. Oh. Of course, we have a fill-in referee. We got uh, seven minutes left, Tom. It's a sweep. Blicker through. That's the big B on the run. Team for about two yards, stopped by Schultz. Gopher's really hitting out there. And the wind has come up. That's Schofield out, Gary Raymond in. Might be a see a pass here, Tom. Second and eight. Looking to the left. Gives the sweep to the left. No game. Good match hit on the run. 63 out in the play. Good block for no game. Makes it third. Again, Madison continues to shuttle the guards. We're approaching the six minute mark, Tom. Yep. Flag down on that play, Tom. There's a flag in the, in the backfield. Flag in the play. Looks like a clip. It's 15 yards. Big break for Guilford, but the clock is down to 5.49. The clip against the Tigers. Third. So it's going to be, uh, looks like it's going to be third and third down at 25. And 25, Tom, right. Third and a lot of yards to pass the Tigers. Again, the clock is running, eh? Oh. And brings the team up. Another flight, looks like a delay game. Right, delay game. Which delay stops the clock, the Dick. That's another five yards. Oh. Looks like the replacement coach heard me, Dick. Uh, there's an awful lot, of, awful lot of flags flying now. Cole back in. Schofield Come, uh, back in. Schultz back in. Looks like they're going to throw. Fades back to pass. It's complete. And it's going to be way short of the first down. It's going to be fourth down. There's a fumble on the ball, fumble on the play, but Madison recovers. Right after the whistle. Ken Munson's pass was good. Scott Cumby. Fumble recovered by Harry Potter. Peter Harper recovered the, the fumble. It's fourth down. It's still about 15 yards. No. Fourth and 20. 20 for Tigers. Timeout for the Tigers. Timeout for the Tigers. Hand goes into punt formation. Bubba Cole. Schofield deep. Gets the ball off. High spiral. 
caught by Schofield. He, he's, he was down, Tom. Down around the, on the ground when he received the ball. Down around the 20 yard, 21 yard line, 22 yard line. 21 yard line. First and 10 for Guilford on her own 22 yard line. First and 10 for the Indians in a popper 25 yard line. Close to a 23 yard line. Got to look for a big play here, Tom. Uh, they got to put the ball in the air, Dick, I think. Uh, you got four minutes and 36 seconds and counting. And of course, Madison, uh, Tom, will give them the short stuff and nothing deep. Yeah, they've got their uh, their deep backs about uh, 20 yards off the line of scrimmage. They're willing to give up the short stuff underneath. Uh, they don't want to give up the bomb. <laughs> Cole rushed. Receiver covered. Yeah, nobody makes it back. Tom. Makes it back to the line of scrimmage. And number 77. That was Again, Fonisella continues to shuttle his players. Second and a long 10. Elpy back out. Cooley over the ball. Cole brings the team up. Split to the left, Harry Potter. Uh, Dennis is going to be sacked behind the line of scrimmage. Uh, whistle. Whistle blow. Going to be third and long, Tom. We got three about 14, Dick. We got 3.22 remaining on the clock. Awful tough pass rush by Madison at this point, Dick. Rich Elfie split wide to the left. Splits back to the right. Madison showing blitz. It's a trap play. Harry Potter falls. Could turn in the corner. Harry Potter, the ball carrier. Fourth down, Tom, and Guilford's going to have to punt here. 78, Kevin Madden. Fourth and long. Guilford's got no choice. they got to go for it here. Hello, Steven. They're showing punt. Partially blocked. And Madison takes over. First and ten on their own 30-yard line. Or on the Guilford 30-yard line. Immediately after the game, the freshman parents club is having their first party for a freshman victorious freshman team over at the Cobras of 90 Bloodshed Road. Uh, Madison wants to score again. They were in a hurry. Bubba Cole's also coming. Flag down on the play, Tom. Flag down on the play. Gonna be on Madison. Illegal procedure. There's a penalty on the play. Illegal procedure against the Tigers. First and 15 for him. Gary Raymond in, Bubba Cole out. They so gain about three or four on that time. Got about 207. Almost a six, seven yard game. A second 11 for the Tigers. And Madison brings the team up. Quarterback keeps it right up the middle, Tom. Um, a long gainer there. Tommy Akampora. Ten months in the ball carrier. Stopped by 91. 81. Chris Fry. Police back in. Almost a first down. Looks like it's going to be third and two, Tom. Third and two as Hand tries to score again. Tigers. 
Trap play. Looks like a first down. Jimmy Metz is close to a first down. Jay Police in on the tackle. First down for Madison. First down for Madison. That's first down for the Tigers. A minute and three seconds, a minute and two. His hand start, finally starts to use all its flyers. Well, Tom, we've got 55 seconds left, and the score uh, looks like it's going to be 12 0 unless Madison scores here. Uh, quite a surprise, uh, you know, Guilford not being able to, to put the ball over. Anything can happen. Game of breaks, game of penalties. Uh, quarterback keep. Kenny Munson, the ball carrier. 37 seconds. Number 34, Rick Majors in the ball game. You know, the time, you know, you never want to uh, end the season on a losing note, Tom, but it's been a good season for the Guilford very freshmen. Good. Very good. Uh, I think there's only positive things. Uh, many of the boys on the freshmen will uh, probably be suiting up with the JVs for the rest of the season. Uh, we'll win, lose, or draw. It's been a good season. They've had a lot of fun. They've learned a lot. Hand sweeps outside with Blicker. He's going nowhere. Steve Schultz wraps him up. And that looks like, folks, this is going to wrap it up with another disappointing loss to Daniel Ann High School. Tom, I'd like to take this time to thank uh, Ronnie Akampour, who's done all the uh, freshman games, uh, our cameraman. He's done a heck of a job this year uh, taping all the games for Coach Fonticello, and it's uh, it's really helped the program. Uh, you know, the coach has been able to, uh, after the game, go back to uh, to Ronnie's house and review the tapes, and that's uh, that's a great asset when uh, when you got people like that that can do that for you. Well, Dick, I'd like to thank Ronnie. I'd like to thank you. I'd like to thank uh, Coach Art Fonticello. Uh, Coach Pete Capazone, uh, the entire Guilford coaching staff, the parents, and most of all the players for an awful enjoyable season. It's too bad it had to end on a losing note, but all in all, a successful season. Thank you, Tom. Thank you. Good night.